First, congratulations for the work the IRS has done over the past several months. As the ranking uh, member, uh, Chairman Neal, mentioned, Democrats on this committee made an historic investment in the IRS last year when we passed the Inflation Reduction Act. Since then, I can tell you, I've heard from my staff in all three of my district offices how well uh, they're working with the IRS. Uh, they, they have contact with your office hundreds if not thousands of times a year, and they tell me that uh, the uh, IRS is noticeably significantly smoother uh, than they've ever been before. Uh, you're responding faster, your responses are better, people answer the phones, my staff find the taxpayer advocates to be reliable and helpful partners as we try and uh, work with our constituents. Uh, I've personally worked with you and with your team uh, on uh, specific issues, and I want to thank you. I've always found it, uh, you to be helpful and your team to be professional uh, and very well uh, prepared. Uh, unfortunately, the majority seems to think that the IRS budget is a slush fund to pay for every uh, program that they want to uh, pass and, and, and put into law. And uh, I've lost track how many times they've tried to use the IRS budget to offset spending, despite reams of evidence uh, proving that IRS cuts actually increase the deficit. I believe the only reason uh, to work to cut the IRS budget is, if, is to uh, either make consumer services worse or to make cheating on your taxes easier. I understand people don't like paying taxes, but this is how we fund uh, our civilized uh, uh, society and the many programs that our constituents uh, care about. So while um, we can disagree about tax policy uh, on, on the specifics, we ought to all agree that on a bipartisan basis that people should follow the law and pay the taxes uh, that they owe. Uh, Commissioner, when IRS funding is cut, what happens to our deficit? It goes up. Um, in fact, um, for every $100 million taken uh, from the IRS, the deficit grows by $600 million over 10 years. Um, and, and that's because- 600 million. 600 million. Increase in our deficit. For every $100 million cut, it's right. a $600 million increase right. in our deficit. So when, they, when the IRS funding is cut, uh, is it harder or is it easier for people to cheat on their taxes? It's, it's easier. And um, let me just, if I can go through $100 million, what that, what that buys you at the IRS, 700 audits of, uh, of high income taxpayers, millionaires and billionaires, 200 audits of, uh, of complex partnerships, 100 audits of uh, large corporations, 32,000 collection cases, of wealthy individuals, and on and on. And that's just from the 100 million, so it, clearly it has an impact. Greetings, friends. This is important news. Healthcare costs are continuing to skyrocket for millions of retirees. Top lawmakers in Congress, along with advocacy groups, are pushing for new legislation to be passed that would help assist seniors financially. But some say this plan will hurt higher income taxpayers. My dear friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video. Also know that every Friday, I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter these weekly giveaway friends, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, friends, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. As individuals approach retirement, the importance of financial security become focal points, yet admits these aspirations lies an overlooked reality, which is the substantial and ever-increasing expenses associated with health care during retirement. Despite the perception of retirement as a time of relaxation, the financial strain of health care costs can cast a shadow over this golden period. The prospect of health care costs in retirement presents multifaceted challenges that extend beyond mere financial considerations. While retirement savings are traditionally earmarked for leisurely pursuits, the looming specter of health care expenses 
can disrupt these plans, instilling anxiety and uncertainty in retirees. Recent research underscores the gravity of this issue, revealing a sobering reality, which is a substantial portion of retirement savings may be absorbed by health care expenditures, leaving millions of retirees grappling with financial stress and insecurity. A critical aspect of the health care cost conundrum in retirement lies in the inadequacy of retirement savings to cover these expenses. Despite widespread awareness of the importance of retirement planning, a significant portion of the population finds themselves ill-prepared for the financial demands of health care during retirement. In the landscape of retirement health care, Medicare stands as a cornerstone of coverage for millions of Americans. Yet understanding the intricacies of Medicare and its associated costs can provide daunting for retirees, contributing to confusion and uncertainty. While Medicare provides essential coverage for hospital, medical, and prescription expenses, retirees must navigate premiums, deductibles, and out-of-pocket costs, all of which can impact their financial well-being. Moreover, the limitations of Medicare coverage underscore the need for supplemental insurance and alternative health care programs, long-term care, dental, vision, and hearing services, which fall outside the purview of traditional Medicare, necessitate additional planning and financial resources. As retirees grapple with these complexities, the importance of informed decision-making and proactive planning cannot be overstated. In the face of mounting health care expenses in retirement, adopting proactive strategies becomes imperative for retirees seeking financial security and peace of mind. Legislative reforms aimed at bolstering Medicare and expanding coverage options represent a promise avenue for alleviating the financial burden on retirees. By advocating for reduced benefits, increased taxes on high-income earners, and enhanced Medicare coverage, a new gold banking rate survey found that more than one-third of Americans are not saving for retirement, with a whopping 39% not putting anything from their salary towards a retirement plan such as a 401k. To some experts, this data is not especially surprising and underscores the very real financial challenges that Americans are contending with. Jay Zygmunt, a finance expert, told reporters, when a large percentage of the United States is living paycheck to paycheck, it is not surprising that they are not saving for retirement. When you are paycheck to paycheck, saving for retirement is a luxury you may not be able to afford. One of the reasons that Americans are not able to save for their retirement is that wages are simply not keeping up with the sustained inflation and rising costs of living. Indeed, although inflation has been on a downward trend, standing at 3.1%, it remains sticky and makes it harder to pay for day-to-day -day expenses, leaving less money for savings. Another factor that has put a dent into savings is a resumption of student loan debt payments in October 2023, pushing people who are already struggling with other expenses over the edge. According to a report from the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, credit card debt reached new record levels, with balances topping $1.3 trillion in the fourth quarter of 2023. In addition, the report found that credit card delinquencies have continued to increase with 6.36% of credit card debt turning into serious delinquencies, which is 90 days or more delinquent. That is the end of my daily stimulus update video for today. My dearest friends, thank you very much for being part of this community. To say thank you, every Friday, I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter these weekly giveaway friends, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, friends, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. Thank you and have a wonderful and very blessed week.